around. That's the uh, number to get in touch with us when the Brain Trust is here. We'll have more questions and answers from the Brain Trust next hour, so stay tuned for that. It's the Boomers Brain Trust. I'm Johnny Dean. Dinah Smith is here coast to coast nationwide as we are every day, uh, 10 to noon Pacific, and that's 1 to 3 Eastern time. The statistics tell us that divorce rates for the general population have stabilized over the past several decades, but they are on the rise among baby boomers. A stat for you. In 1990, fewer than 1 in 10 people who were divorced were 50 or older. In 2009, that figure was 1 in 4. Surprising to me. Of course, divorce isn't the only reason some people uh, who are older are single. There's the maybe the death of the spouse. Uh, maybe someone just chose never to get married. Whatever the reason, a report was just issued by the GAO that says getting married or staying married is good for your financial health. Furthermore, they found that baby boomers who never married stand a greater chance of being broke during their retirement years. Now, naturally, some of this makes sense, I think, on kind of an intuitive level, really. Uh, two Social Security incomes, two pension incomes, whatever, pooled resources can help lower costs after retirement. But there's really, there's more to it than that. Here to talk about this, uh, this kind of phenomenon among boomers is Charlie Jessick, Director for uh, Education, Workforce, and Income Security Issues at the U.S. Government Accountability Office in Washington, D.C. Now, he spent over 28 years with the GAO working on retirement security policy, the PBGC, Social Security, unemployment insurance, and older worker employment issues. Hey, Charlie, I'd spend more time going over your bio, but I got only like eight minutes in this segment. So welcome. <laughs> oh. Okay. Welcome to the show. We, we appreciate you being here. So now the official title of the GAO report is Trends in Marriage and Work Patterns May Increase Economic Vulnerability for Some Retirees. But the upshot really is that married people, baby boomers is what we're talking about, tend to do much better financially during retirement than non-married people. Is that right? That's absolutely true, Johnny. Uh, basically, if you look at the people over age 65 poverty rates, if you look at the poverty rate for, for married people, it's really quite low. It's, it's about 4.6%. But once you start looking at for other groups, for example, widowed people, uh, it goes up to 13.5. Divorcees, 15.4. Uh, and those who are never married have a poverty rate of about 19.4%. Wow. Well, we know that uh, obviously some pooled resources between two people can make things a little easier uh, if, uh, than if there's just one person, like say being able to share housing costs or maybe help each other if there's a disability. But retirement benefits from Social Security and pensions can also be better for married people. So do spousal benefits and rights somehow come into play with all of this? Yes, ab absolutely. For, uh, for example, if you're married and you have a traditional pension plan, uh, you have a, a right to, you know, to, uh, to that pension, uh, whether uh, you get divorced or, uh, or your spouse dies. Uh, with a 401k type plan, typically, uh, you know, a spouse could, uh, could actually take all the money, just drain the account uh, on his own without, without the other spouse's approval. Okay, so now, uh, Charlie, are, are single people who want to stay single? <laughs> this might seem like this might seem like a, a snarky question, and it's not. But are, are, are single people who want to stay single at retirement ultimately doomed, or are there ways to make sure that they don't become one of the poverty rate statistics that you just mentioned? Oh no, absolutely. I mean, one of the uh, the flip sides of the uh, decline in marriage is that you've had a massive increase over the last fifty years of of women in the labor force. And basically what's going on now is everyone in the workforce uh, uh, with the decline of traditional pensions, uh, uh, you know, can actually has, should take responsibility for saving for retirement. So if you're a single person and you have access to a 401K or an IRA and you save uh, uh, continuously throughout your, uh, uh, your working years and you're, you're careful, uh, you should be able to have, uh, uh, you know, have a safe retirement. Now, uh, Charlie, I'm curious, is uh, this sort of report something that the GAO comes out with on a regular basis, or is it just because this, suddenly these statistics about divorce and uh, singledom into retirement with boomers uh, was just so groundbreaking that it, it caused uh, generated need for this report? Yeah, it really is the latter. You know, uh, we generally uh, do work in response to uh, congressional inquiry, and I think some people in the Congress saw that there were some things going on here and asked us to take a, an objective look at things. Now, I, 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 kind of, I, I read through the, it's actually a fairly long report that the GAO came out with. 
Charlie. I mean, what, what are some of the other nuggets that you guys found with regard to married people and, uh, and, and finances or financial stability uh, after, say, age 60? Well, one of the things we found in general, and this is actually a related report, but we found uh, that the, impact, the economic impact of divorce, uh, or widowhood is really uh, uh, can be quite dramatic, not only on your income but also on your assets. And in fact, the the the, the loss of income and the loss of assets is generally far greater for the woman. So that was one finding. In general, we also found that there's been a long-term decline in marriage in, in the United States. In 1960, 68% of the people over age 15 uh, were were married. That mm -hmm. went down to 54% in 2010. And uh, more surprisingly, for that, well, for people, uh, there were only two percent of that population was divorced in 1960, and today it's 10 percent. So there have really been some dramatic changes. Single parent households have more than doubled o over this period, and uh, those who are never married increased from 22 percent to 31 percent. Well, now you mentioned divorce. Are, are, are divorce people were? Uh, you would think, at least I would think, that that divorce would have a bigger impact on somebody. Uh, than, than somebody who, who just stayed single their whole life and sort of managed on their own. But it, it sounds like, if I'm reading this correctly, that and, and from the poverty statistics that you mentioned, uh, that they may be kind of on an even keel there. Is, is that right? Well, uh, by the poverty, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, you look at the poverty rates there, they're fairly, uh, uh, fairly similar. Uh, but I think the big thing is uh, for divorced people is the shock. I mean, you're, you, you will suffer. I think it was we found... Uh, and a lot, on average, of a, a 40 percent decline in income, uh, uh, for, yeah. particularly for women, in in the event of divorce, on average. So uh, that's really so. Uh, you know, you you may not be doing uh, as well if you've never been married, but you won't have that dramatic shock of a of a substantial loss of income at one time. Charlie Jessick, uh, we appreciate you being with us. You're with the U.S. Government Accountability Office in Washington, D.C. Uh, if people want some more information or if they want to read the report, and actually it's kind of a fascinating report, uh, is there a, a website that's fairly easy to remember where they can go to get to it? Absolutely. All of our GAO reports are available free of charge to the public at www.gao.gov. GAO.gov. All right. Hey, Charlie, thanks very much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I was surprised by that statistic yeah. that you mentioned uh, with regard to, because you do think about divorce, and, and women too, especially. Yeah. I mean, if, if, they had, if they didn't either bring in the same amount of money or exactly. any money, and uh, we, we found it that, that a lot of them really do struggle financially. But uh, the fact that they just happen to remain single their whole lives. Interesting. You don't think about things like that. No, now I'm going to have to start thinking about this. I'm staying married. All right, there you go. Don't worry about it. I'll be married anyway. Uh, we have got more money advice, uh, speaking of which, coming up next hour. We'll hear again from Terry Keyes, who will be here answering your questions and your emails as well. It's the Boomer's Brain Trust. We're coming right back. Don't go away.